Hi. What is today news? In 1979, Afghanistan President and Communist leader, Nur Muhammad Turaki gets murdered. Turaki was a communist leader, am correct? Yeah, he was murdered by a fellow communist leader by Hafizullah Amin. Hafizullah Amin first arrested Turaki, and the murdered him. Turaki also tired to murder Hafizullah Amin. A revolution took place in Afghanistan's neighbor, Iran. At this time, there were Islamists on one side and leftists communists on other side. Iran's King Mohammad Reza. King believed in modernism and secularism. He brought a lot of economic development for this country. He was very attached to being on the throne, he had the protesters and the opposition murdered. The voice of opposition were quashed. Political parties were outlawed. And the parliament was dismissed. For this reason a revolution against took place. In 1979, the Islamists took over Iran. Hafizullah Amin, who was a communist, was worried about an Islamist takeover in Afghanistan. He decided to appease the religious, the conversation people. And he started constructing mosques. He included all the speeches the name is Allah. Well, okay, I'm a communist, get the Islamist to this side as well. The people did not like him at all. He committed many atrocities against the people of Afghanistan. When Lenin his last power, Stalin had his opponent murdered to get power. The Soviet Union intervented by sending its forces then had Hafizullah Amin murdered. After killing, Hafizullah Amin, Babur Karmel was installed as the new head of government. He was the leader of Soy Revolution. After, coming into power he had more than 2,500 political prisoners released. He replaced the red communist flag with new one. He promised to bring in a free election, freedom of speech and freedom of religious. Finally, in Afghanistan could surrounded peace and move in a right direction. The USA could see that the Soviet had stabilized its influence in Afghanistan. But the America could silently watch Afghanistan progress. America was a step below the Soviet Union in this war. America decided to use Afghanistan as an opportunity to take his revenge against the Soviet Union. America supporting the opposition Mujahideen. In 1988, Afghanistan President Muhammad Najibullah. He signed the Guarantors Peace Agreement with the Soviet Union and the USA. The Soviet Union, the USA promised withdraw its armies from Afghanistan. Then the USA would stop supplying weapons to the Mujahideen. Russia became a major country among them. In 1979, a new constitution is brought for Afghanistan would cease to be a one-party state. That time other parties could contest election. A uh, new parliament elections are conducted. Najibullah's party, the PPA wins the election. Dr. Mohammad Najibullah retains his power. In 1990, Afghanistan is declared to be an Islamic Republic. And all communism is removed. Najibullah tired to appease the religious conservative people in the country. Najibullah tries to get foreign aid into Afghanistan and to start private investment. America continues to supply weapons to the Mujahideen. Then civil war was continues. The Soviet Union tries to help Najibullah by sending foreign aid. But doesn't help. A few years ago, a new enemy had risen called the Taban. In Pashto language, Taliban means student. The leader of Taliban group was Mullah Omar. He formed his group with 50 student, but this time some refugees returned to Afghanistan from Pakistan. Taliban believed in ideology of Pashtun nationalism. Pakistan and Saudi Arabia supported the Taliban. America purged all efforts of democracy. America spent millions of dollars in printing textbooks in Afghanistan. These books were filled with violent images and to promote the extreme ideology. Later, 
This book funded by America were used by Taliban and establishes the Islamic Emirates of Afghanistan. The Taliban did make some areas of Afghanistan peaceful. At this time the Taliban banned a lot of things in Afghanistan. Music, TV, cinema, football, VCR, chess, kite flying, paintings, photography, clean shave, foreigners, on offices, internet, education for girls aged above 10 years, and goes. Women couldn't leave the homes, women to keep their bodies covered with burqas, and men compulsorily keep a beard. Afghanistan cultural history The Buddha statues were destroyed by Taliban and former President Dr. Mohammad Najibullah is also murdered. Only, these countries Pakistan, Saudi Arabia and United Arab Emirates recognizes the Taliban as the legitimate government in Kabul. In 1990s, Mujahideen some forces tried to fight the Taliban. The Northern Alliance head was Ahmad Shah Mossad. In 2001, Ahmad Shah Mossad loses his fight. Only two days, a terrorist group Al-Qaeda conduct the 9-11 attacks in the USA. An attack changed the entire world. The leader of Al-Qaeda was the Saudi terrorist Osama bin Laden. Osama bin Laden write a letter to America the 9-11 attack was a revenge. The reason is America was doing in countries like Somalia, Libya, Afghanistan. He gives a justification that America was committing war crime against Muslims. In those countries, Revenge against America by carrying out the 9-11 attacks. America want to take revenge for the 9-11 attacks. So, America send its force to Afghanistan. Then America conducts airstrikes on Afghanistan. If airstrikes are conducted when bombs are dropped the terrorists would die. Ahmad Shah Mazud Zaid Hamid Karzai becomes the new president of Afghanistan government. In 2004, election has taken, around more than 6 million Afghans vote in this election. Karzai wins this election and becomes the new president of Afghanistan. He establishes some good relations with India, Afghanistan and India's relations become quite strong at this time. On the other hand the USA conduct bombings and airstrikes in Pakistan. To eliminate the hideouts of Taliban there, in 2011 Osama bin Laden was killed by the US forces. In 2015 it is found that Mullah Omar, the first and original leader of Taliban has died in 2013 due to an illness. During all this time, the US had dispatched its army to Afghanistan to maintain peace and to keep Taliban in check. Additionally, as a support to the new democratic government in Afghanistan. But even after years, Taliban is still not wiped out. The group keeps popping up at different places in different areas of Afghanistan and neighboring countries. Taliban conducts shootouts and bombings in which hundreds of civilians are killed. In February 2020, while Donald Trump was the new president of the USA shockings, he starts peace talks with the Taliban. Meaning that, the government started Taliban, say that if Taliban cuts off its relations, with terrorist groups like, al Qaeda. Then America will withdraw its forces and will leave Afghanistan. Because the American forces in Afghanistan required a lot of funding as I said, two trillion dollars were spent in American war Afghanistan too. The American questioned why they were fighting a war that wasn't theirs. They were in a country for 20 years where their people, their soldiers were getting killed. In 2021, Taliban is the most powerful more than 85,000 fighters are fighting for Taliban. Now, when Joe Biden is the president of America he continues the policy of Donald Trump and decides to withdraw the American troops from Afghanistan. Joe Biden says that through he doesn't trust the Taliban, but I trust the capacity of Afghan military, the Afghan troops at 3, 000, 000 well equipped. As well equipped as any army in the world and air force. Again this something like 75,000 Taliban. Nowadays, it's said that 90% of border of Afghanistan is under Taliban's control. And Afghanistan government may be overthrown.